Okay, so I have an announcement to make. I am going for the NetGate PFSense Plus Fundamentals and Practical Application Certification. PFSense is basically our go-to firewall, so this makes total sense for me to get. It's a good challenge, and I think it'll be a good journey to take you guys along. I thought I was done with certifications. This will be my sixth professional IT certification, but I just got an itch for PFSense certification. I just got a scratch. You know what I'm saying? Here I have my handy dandy notebook. No, this is not Blue's Clues, but I have some tabs and I'm ready to go and start making all my notes and blah, 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 and putting my tabbed subjects of what I'm gonna be studying. The tabs will basically match the curriculum of the exam that PFSense has already laid out. Obviously you don't have to have a notebook. This is just how I roll. I need something tangible, something I can flip through, I can write down. Um, all of that process, me writing down, it just sticks in my brain better, my memory better when I go that route. If you're completely digital, you wanna go all PDF and just rely on the computer, great, more power to you. This is just how I do it. Yeah, with that being said, let's get into some of the first steps I've taken so far. All right, so here I am on the official NetGate PFSense Plus training and certification page. I'll leave links to these pages in the description. I encourage you to go through them and read all the details. I'm just gonna cover the high level stuff, and which means we're gonna jump straight over to the details tab here. Now we're gonna cover the process for earning this certification. It's important to understand what to expect when forging the path to certification. Once you have completed the self-paced videos and reviewed the supplemental training material, you're ready to begin. So, let's pause there for a sec and if we go to curriculum here is the supplemental materials that they're talking about and also the free video training as well though i did notice this guys on this link here it's actually missing a video so under other features it has no video but then i found this other official netgate link and it has what seems like the same training but the other features video as well. Um, this one seems more complete. I will leave a link to this in the description and I'm also gonna be following this as well. So what's cool about this, you get a video and then they'll link you to the um, relevant supporting documentation, which as you know, takes you straight over to, this is an online handbook basically of PFSense and how to use it. It's very detailed. Now I will say that these videos they they don't they don't really show you how to do anything they kind of just tell you what you need to know so yeah that would be kind of my complaint on these videos it's not they're not very in-depth training so don't expect <laughs> too much there um, my advice go ahead and create a um, virtual lab with PFSense. Or if you have a little bit extra money, pick up an SG-1100, which is an actual NetGate firewall, and then play with that. Once you've completed the self-paced videos and reviewed the supplemental training material, you're ready to begin. When you have made the payment for the certification, you'll receive an email with a link that will take you to the course. Okay, so let's pause there for a second. You might be wondering, well, how much is the certification? It is $150 at the time of this recording. So once you make that $150 payment, you'll get a couple emails um, pretty fast. Probably took like a day to get to me, but here's the first one. And then here's the second one. They'll create you an account over at lms.netgate.com. And that is kind of like your certification tracking hub. And I'll show you more about that in a minute. But let's get back to this process here. So from there, you can begin the 90 minute or the 90 question multiple choice exam. You have 60 minutes to complete this event. You'll be required to score 75% or above in order to graduate the lab portion of the certification. Okay, so what that means is you have uh, 90 questions, multiple choice, and you got 60 minutes to complete those questions. And I will tell you right now, those questions consist of basic networking, 
questions and also pfSense Plus related questions, you know, such as what's the uh, default IP address of pfSense out of the box? Uh, what order do the firewalls work in? Do the firewall rules work in? Uh, stuff like that. Um, stuff related to pfSense. And the basic networking questions, well, guys, you got to know your basic networking. You know, what? how many bits in an IPv4 address or what layer of the OSI model does um, do packets operate at, so on and so forth. You know, what, um, what port number does DNS use? I will also tell you right now that I've already passed this multiple choice exam. I barely passed it on the first try. I got a 75.5%. And I did not cheat. Don't cheat, guys. Um, you know, challenge yourself. And what I will say is, with the written portion of the exam, you do get one free retake if you fail it. So there's that as well. Um, anyways, let's move on. If you successfully complete the exam, you will then schedule your lab assignment. This is a two-day event covering nine labs. So basically, guys, uh, this sounds pretty intimidating. That sounds like a lot of lab, a lot of PFSense labbing. So I'm gonna have to do some studying on this. And um, as you can see, maybe you're starting to understand now more now why I have my notebook <laughs> going on. I mean, I consider myself pretty handy in PFSense already, but um, this even sounds a little intimidating. So let's pop over to FAQ. Is there is there a fee for the certification? Yes, I already told you guys what that was. It's $150 at the time of this recording. They do not mention the price here um oh this is interesting so again just so you know it's a hundred percent online so while it is proctor for the labbing it's still going to be remote um you know they tell you you need a computer reliable internet blah 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 what score is required to pass the exam well a score of 75 percent and above is required to pass multiple choice exam and then the labs are a pass fail and are not assigned a numerical grade if you do not pass any section of the lab, you will need to retake the test as that is considered a failing grade. How long are my certifications from NetGate valid? Uh, I believe it's one year, right? Yeah, one year. If I fail the exam, can I retake it? If you fail the exam multiple choice, you're eligible for a one-time retake at no cost. As I mentioned earlier, there's no process to retake the lab. If you do not pass the lab, you will need to purchase the certification again. Can I get a list of questions and answers to see what I got wrong? No, you can't. What is your refund policy? No refunds. Okay, here I am at the certification portal. I just want to log in and give you guys a look around so you can see what it looks like. So this is your certification portal. What you can do is look at what you have in progress, what courses you've completed, your training time, badges, certificates, so on and so forth. Of course, at the time of this recording, there is only one PFSense, one formal PFSense fundamental certification available. Um, if you click this play button, this is how it works. You work through your content. So as you can see, I've already com completed this. Basically, it's just like a advisory. You read it and you do complete it. Let's continue. And that takes you to the next step which was multiple choice. As you can see, I passed that with a 75.55%. And then once I do pass, let's continue, it will take me to the next phase, which is instructions for PFSense plus fundamentals and practical application lab. As you can see, I have not started the labs yet. I still want to study some more until I'm comfortable to proceed with the labs. And you can see I have quite a bit of labbing to do. So, yeah, I've only got two steps done so far. So I will keep you guys posted. I'm at 25%. Wish me luck. And if you are going to take on this challenge, I wish you all luck in the world. And um, let me know how it goes for you. But, yeah, pretty exciting. As you can see, i got a lot of studying to do. Um... If I come up with any extra study material, I'll let you guys know. Of course, this is only part one of the video. I'll keep you posted, and I'll see you in the next one.